Ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 Transplant Games of America have officially begun. Welcome to Grand Rapids and the Transplant Games of America 2012. Uh, we, uh, we started off the event with a very special showing of the power to. I've talked to a lot of people today and a few yesterday, and I'll talk to a lot more over the next couple of days about the Transplant Games and, and why we're here. And for those of you who are involved in the Transplant community, you already know how important the Transplant Games are. It's our way of communicating a message about organ donation and transplantation and, and its critical importance in the, in the lives of many, many people. Probably the, the, the thing that we liked best being a donor family was the ovation that we got as we came in because we came in with our team, Team Texas, and then we kind of snuck around to the back and, and joined the donor family members. And it was hard to look at the recipients in the, in the stadium because they were all crying, all had tears in their eyes. And, and I thought, oh, you know, it's, I, you could tell how emotional it was for them. And it was just as emotional for the donor family members also. Cajun heart. She's going to be 75. Her heart's in its early 40s. Well, my son's meeting his transplant family, and they were so nice to reach out to us, and and we're the ones that have responded to them so far. We're going to meet them, maybe in a little bit here. So we're really excited about meeting them, and and like Daniel said, nervous too.
200 free in a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the 50 breast and 50 back as well. And I'm a double lung transplant survivor, recipient, and I've been 15 and a half years, and I'm doing great. And my thanks to my wonderful donor, Natasha. She was the fastest sprinter in both swimming and running. She passed away in May 2011 because of lung rejection. We love her and we miss her very much and we're swimming today for her. I'm Nicole Heffron's mom, this is my daughter. She died at the age of 31, which is a year and a half ago. Um, she died suddenly of spinal meningitis. She left three small children, which I take care of now, an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, and a two-year-old. Nicole, unfortunately, I lost my only child. She gave life to three other people. But as I prepared to enter the operating room with my family, praying for my safe return, I realized that another family was grieving over the loss of their son, their only child. That family's decision to donate during the darkest days of their lives speaks of the courage and the generosity that we all aspire to have in our own lives. Every day I live, each step I take, Every life that I touch is because of my donor and his family. Because of my donor and his family, I completed high school on time with a, a track record in one hand and a valedictorian speech in the other. As human beings, we sometimes find ourselves thinking about our legacy. What will we leave behind so that others remember us? I'm the legacy of one young man and his family who thought of others when called upon. I pray that I'll be so lucky as to leave such a legacy when my work on this earth is done. Thank you.